the 2021 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, where you can find some of the best walk-around videos on the different Ford vehicles. And we we'll call them our complete guides because we get we go into the, the standard equipment, but also talk about the different packages that are available and even standalone options in these videos. Very thorough videos. There'll be timestamps throughout the video. You can always move ahead, uh, move around, come back to something. Also down in the description, you can check the timestamps and even prices to the different packages and standalone options down there too. So if you're curious on some of that information. So these are very thorough videos. This is the first in the series we're gonna do on the Ford Mustang. Uh, so be looking for those. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'll go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. You also get notified the next time another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So we're going to be a very thorough on this. If you if you uh, decide by after watching this video to we're a dealership you want to maybe work with and you don't live close to us, we do free shipping. More information about the free shipping we'll have at the end of the video, so check that out as well. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to dive right in, talk about some of the mechanical features as part of this 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine vehicle. So let's talk about the 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine and talk about some mechanical features. And before we get into that, I do want to you know, preface this, that this vehicle does have the upgraded 2.3 high performance EcoBoost package. Uh, and uh, we'll get into that package in a little bit, but the standard engine will look a little different than this one. Uh, both the two EcoBoost we have in stock happen to have this package on it. So, uh, so just keep that in mind. Now, of course, they will come standard and your 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, only engine available, of course, in the EcoBoost trim. Uh, it will give you 310 horsepower, 350 pound-feet of torque. It will also come standard in your six-speed manual transmission with the launch control. You can also get the optional 10-speed automatic transmission like this vehicle has. And that will, if you have the 101A equipment group, you'll get the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. If you have the standard 100A, which is a standard equipment uh, package, then uh, you will not have those paddle shifters. So uh, just keep that in mind. Paddle shifters, 101A equipment groups, well, you'll need those. Uh, so pretty good performance. Electric line lock as well that goes along with this. And uh, for the manual transmissions, your gear ratios on the rear end, you're going to have the 331 for your manual transmission, 315 for your automatic transmission. So keep that in mind. And we'll talk about some different gear ratios, probably in some different packages. Uh, so there may be some changes to those gear ratios. It depends on different packages you may decide to add to this vehicle uh, to as optional equipment, I should say. Also, you will have uh, the uh, rear independent suspension. You're also going to get the E-Pass, electronic power assist steering that comes with this advanced track with, elect uh, with uh, uh, electronic stability control, and you're gonna have SOS post crash alert system that honks the horns, flash the lights if you're on the side of the road and you need someone to come to your help. Now, moving to the front up here, you will see up here on the hood, you're gonna see the hood vent. So it's a body colored surround, and those are functional vents in there, so the air can flow in through the grill, and the heat can, ex and can come out through the vents. So those are functional vents. There are some slots in there you can actually see through to the engine there. Also on the grill, you can see it does have a black grill up here. The pony is going to be over here on the side, that kind of that traditional look over here. The lower grill will also be uh, have that black look to it too. And then uh, the black painted, I should say. Your headlights, let's talk about those for a second. You're going to have automatic LED headlights. So LED on the front up here. Automatic means when you have an auto setting, they're going to come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Uh, when you have it set up in that auto setting. You're also going to get see the LED signature lighting. Those three lights just inside those headlights are going to be your signature lighting. Just below that, you're going to have LED uh, turn signal and parking lamp down there. So that's where those are going to be located. Again, LEDs for that. And this will come standard with your auto high beams. And the way auto high beam works is just like your headlights. If it's dark outside, those high beams will come on. If someone approaches you in the city lights, they'll go off. Now, this is a setting you can deactivate and deactivate through your lighting section of your vehicle settings. So kind of showing you a couple different uh, way, how you get to that using that productivity screen there. So you're gonna go into the settings, go to vehicle, and then you're gonna go to the lighting and that's where you can activate and deactivate that. And there's another uh, thing I'll show you later uh, where that's located and you're, so you're gonna need to know where those settings are at. So pretty good look here uh, to the front of the vehicle. Uh, uh, something else, the standard equipment for this year, uh, even on the EcoBoost trim and, and on up, is the rain sensing wipers. So I'm kind of floored that it is actually standard equipment on all of your Mustangs. So rain sensing wipers, if you have one of those intermittent settings, they're gonna come on automatically and start wiping and uh, that water off your windshield as it starts raining harder, it's going to wipe even faster without you having to do anything there. 
And that is something some people do and don't like. And that is again, something in your vehicle settings under the wipers, you can activate and deactivate by unchecking those boxes. So uh, pretty cool. Also your headlights are configurable daytime running lights. If you wanna turn those on again, under your lighting section, you'll be able to find that. Uh, so some pretty good features. One uh, fa safety feature I wanted to talk about earlier on the mechanical that I forgot is a pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it does have your sensors uh, so you can tell if you're coming up behind somebody if they're going slower than you and you're not paying attention you're not hitting your brake it alerts you and lets you know puts a message there on your productivity screen series of tones too that you need to stop or you need to hit your brake and if you don't it does have dynamic brake support so it'll initiate that brake support so hopefully may not avoid that accident but at least hopefully lessen the severity of that accident if that happens so most of the time uh, depends on the sensitivity you have for that uh, it will go ahead and break you in time depends on how fast you're going of course on the highway maybe a little bit different but so some great features here on the front of the vehicle let's we'll move around to the side now now moving around to the side over here this actually has an upgraded wheel so i'm gonna give you a clip from ford's website the standard wheel is a 17 inch sparkle silver painted alloy wheel so it's a, uh, a five spoke wheel there it's a, a fairly nice looking wheel for the ecoboost trim this is a, one of the optional wheels we'll talk about when we get to optional equipment also you are seeing the badging this is a, again high performance package we'll have the badging on the fender but typically the ecoboost trim will not have a badging on the fender over there also the mirror, it's gonna have body colored mirror cap. In this case, it is a carbonized gray. It will have a manual fold in mirror, just like that. Also, it's gonna have power glass, so power uh, mirrors uh, for the glass there. Also, standard equipment on these, Bliss, blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. The way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also though, as you're backing up, someone's gonna cross your path behind you, it'll do the same thing. Put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from, puts a message on the dash telling you if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So love the Bliss system. Uh, this, as you can see, we've talked about several of the features now. This does get all of the Copilot 360 features, standard equipment on the EcoBoost on up. So all Mustang trims will have the full Copilot 360 uh, safety features. Also, this will have your body color door handles. Then we'll have the intelligent access with push button start. So I have the key fob in my pocket here. I just put my hands in the door handle. It's gonna unlock the vehicle, allow me to get in and out. Just lock it by pressing the ridges on the outside. Do that right there, it'll lock the vehicle up. And there's even push button start when we get inside. We'll talk about that when we talk about when we get to the interior up there. Also, this will come with primer alarm. Uh, with an theft system on all of your uh, Mustangs and this I forgot to mention earlier you can get these in either fastback or convertible so of course uh, convertibles will come with a uh, cloth soft top uh, also have active noise cancellation on the convertibles uh, because of the wind noise with the convertible top also over here you will have the easy fuel capless filler door so just open that up just put your nozzle in there and you're ready to go no cap to worry about leaving getting your hands dirty or anything like that uh, and it is a door, two door system. It does uh, have to have the correct size nozzle like you would have at the pumps, which a lot of your gas cans will not have that size. That's why you'll have to use the funnel that's located uh, in the trunk. And we'll show you where that's at here in just a little bit. In fact, let's go ahead and head to the back and show you some of the features in the rear. Now moving to the rear back here, you will have a center high mounted stop light up here and that is just your brake light. So that way trucks, SUVs can see you braking uh, if they're maybe lifted up a little bit. Also rear defrost back here is gonna be standard equipment. A spoiler will not be standard equipment. It typically will come without a spoiler uh, on the, as the 100A or standard equipment for the EcoBoost. Uh, you will have the pony emblem here on the back panel. So you're gonna have that back here. Uh, your LED tail lights, the course give you the sequential turn signals as well as people have liked for so many years. Body colored bumpers throughout here. You will have a, a molded in black down here on the lower fascia uh, down there. And you will have rear view camera. It's positioned right under the, where the, the tailgate would be. So rear view camera right there. So that as you're backing up, you're gonna be able to see behind you in the 4.2 inch screen that's standard. And we'll talk about different options for that as well. And typically this does have the quad tip, but that's actually optional equipment or part of some packages. We'll get into that a little bit later. You'll normally have the dual exhaust with the chrome tips back here as standard equipment. Now to open up this trunk, you can use the key fob if you want to, but there is a button right here in the middle. Just, just press that and it'll open up for you if the vehicle's unlocked inside. We always put the uh, floor mats in the trunk. Uh, so they come with two floor mats for the front foot wells, uh, the front seats there, uh, carpeted mats. So that is gonna be standard equipment as well. So I'm gonna put that off to the side here. Inside, you're gonna have carpeted throughout here. You'll see gray interior in this particular vehicle here. 
Uh, you can open this up. Underneath there, standard equipment is the tire and inflator kit, sealant kit. Tire and inflator and sealant kit. Uh, that'll be standard equipment on these uh, so that you can help uh, any kind of, uh, you know, maybe puncture or something like that. It should be able to help you out. Funnel is actually in a weird spot. It's kind of located over here to the back. You can see it in that image there. So that's where your funnel for that uh, fill, fill nut up. If you ever run out of gas and need to use your gas can, that's where that's going to be located. So um, pretty standard in the last several years of the cargo room you have back here in the back. Um, not too bad. Pretty amount, good amount of space back here. Now we'll tell you if you look through there, you will see the 60, the 50-50 split bench seat for that back seat. Uh, that's going to be standard equipment for your fastbacks. Convertibles will have a fixed back seat back there. It will not have the split fold. Just so you do, just so you know that. Now as we move to the interior, there are two different color interiors available for your EcoBoost trim. You have your ebony interior like we're seeing with this particular vehicle, and you have your dark ceramic. I'm going to show you clips from Ford's website for the dark ceramic. We a lot of times will order them in the ebony interior here, uh, so you'll see that. also gave you a clip from Ford's website of the dash because this it's going to be different than what this is. So the instrument panel across there, uh, this right here around the vents and across the dash, that is going to be a little bit different. It's called the Carbon Zag. It's going to be standard equipment on your EcoBoost. Uh, this and again has a high performance package which upgrades the instrument panel. So uh, check out uh, Ford's website for what that dash is going to look like there for you. Uh, cloth seats here for the front uh, for all of your seat uh, passengers. You can seat four in the vehicle. So you have the bucket seats up here for the driver and front passenger. You will get a four way manual adjustment for the driver. So you'll have the lever on the front so you can slide it forward back for both the driver and front passenger. And then the driver also does have a height adjustment over here where the passenger will not have that. So they can go up and down like you're seeing with what I'm doing there. And then you also have a manual control for your backrest. I'm not sure why they don't call that a six way and a four way, but that's fine. Uh, in the back seat, as I mentioned earlier, you can seat two, it does have a latch system back there. Uh, so you do have that lower anchors and tethers for children. So if you want to put booster seats back there and put those, uh, those kids in there, you can use that latch system. Uh, and then you can harness it back there on the back of the uh, the rear cargo area right underneath that back glass back there. So uh, that's where you would, those latches would uh, connect. Uh, here on the door, you do have your power windows, locks, and mirror switches here on the doors. So full power, you will have global, you will have open, uh, one touch, uh, open and close for the both the, the front windows. So that means you just hard press it down. It all make it go down, you don't have to hold it. Also coming up, just hard press it up, pull it all the way up, and it'll do the same thing. Also forgot to mention, a global open and close for those windows, which means you can uh, open those windows from outside using your keyless remote. Uh, if you wanna let some of the air out of the vehicle on those hot days, you can do that using old global open and close. Hopefully I got a good clip there for you. Uh, so you can see how that works. Uh, that's pretty cool. Not all vehicles get that as well here. Uh, it does have a, a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So just the levers over here on the right side of the steering wheel, just pull that down and then it'll go up and down, forward and back. So you can get it just right. So I'd say adjust your seat to your legs uh, length and then adjust the steering wheel to accommodate for your arms uh, and how long they are there. Also leather wrap steering wheel, standard equipment, even on your standard uh, EcoBoost 300 or 100A. Uh, so nice that it's a leather wrap steering wheel is standard equipment. Also lane keeping system is uh, also standard equipment. That's part of the Copilot 360 features. You can turn that on and off using on the little uh, switch over here on the left of this, uh, this turn switch here on the left side. Uh, that's where you would activate and deactivate your, your lane keeping system. And uh, what's great about it, it has driver alert feature. It has a lane departure aid and alert system so what it'll do is if you're if you have it on the alert when you it'll let you leave the lane but it's going to vibrate the steering wheel when you do leave your lane if you want the aid system it helps try to keep you in the middle in, into that lane so you get to those lines it'll bounce you and keep you in your lane so you can adjust that through your advance uh, to your driver assist features there on your productivity screen uh, uh, the other the right one a switch over here, a lever I should say, is going to be for your wipers. Also over here on the steering wheel, on the left side of the steering wheel, you're going to see some audio controls there on the top within that chrome accent. Below that, you're going to see your cruise control down there. So it's going to come standard equipment with your cruise control. On the right side, you're going to see the toggle switches. That's going to control the productivity screen we're going to talk about in a little bit. Below that, you do have your Bluetooth controls uh, entering, uh, hanging up your phone, also uh, the button to be able to use the voice commands. Uh, to be able to use the voice activated sync system here. So the D-pad up here in the top will control that 2.3 inch productivity screen. That's We've already seen a couple clips of that. 
Uh, so that's where you're going to uh, be able to control your settings in there, your trip, your meter, your display. All that's going to be uh, located there. And I do have a video on our YouTube channel, another how to videos on how to use the 2.3 inch screen, uh, productivity screen. So you can check that out. It hasn't changed for this model year versus last year when I did that video. So check that video out. And I'm uh, going to give you a clip there of the speedometer attack. So you can see how that looks up there. A uh, great look to it uh, when you have that vehicle turned on right there. Uh, this does here have the push button start it's located right down here. So uh, whether you have manual or automatic, you will have push button start uh, as standard equipment on all of your, uh, doesn't matter if it's manual or automatic uh, for your vehicle. Uh, traction control switches are right there as well. And you do have uh, some steering control uh, toggle or switch right there as well as your hazard. For your climate control is a manual single zone climate control. So uh, everybody in the vehicle will have the same climate. All the does have electronically controlled though. You can see those uh, lit up right there. Uh, also your audio control. AM FM MP3 player, six speaker audio sound system. Uh, so you can see that. You can see uh, those controls right there on that 4.2 inch screen. So it's where you can see your audio controls um, and uh, Bluetooth controls and all that. You can Bluetooth your audio in or your phone in and play audio through your phone if you want to do that. Do it that way. Uh, so you can have all those features. And that 4.2 inch screen is where you're going to see your rear view camera come into view right there. Up here in the mirror, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror. It's standard equipment on all of your vehicles. It does have the edge to edge glass design here. Uh, so that's why you're going to see that. So that is something we've been seeing on Camaro for several years now. Uh, they're bringing over uh, to, the, to the Mustang as well there. Now your, uh, your, your brake here, your parking brake will have the uh, leather wrapped uh, boot for that to go around that as well as on your automatic shifter will have that too. And your manual transmission will have that as well. Uh, so even if you have automatic or manual, that's going to be leather wrapped uh, boot cover there. Uh, for that and uh, talk about the little actually let me talk about up here uh, down in here I think they call this the sunglass bin down in here you have a power point down there and you have a USB port I like to call this the media hub area but I think they're calling it sunglass bin because I know it's not really big for your phone to sit in there uh, but you have USB port as well as a power point located right there and that's a smart USB port so you can plug it in charge your phone uh, as well as use it to be able to, to Bluetooth if you want to uh, wire it in that way. And here as well in the little uh, console, you do have a USB port in there as well as another power point. So two power points, two USB ports in the vehicle. Uh, so that's how it's uh, done in there. So they actually got this in here backwards. Let me fix that for them. Uh, so you can see uh, down in there, hopefully I can get you a good clip of that. Sometimes it's a little dark and hard to see in there. You have a coin tray in there as well as some other things located in there uh, and a padded uh, leather uh, uh, cover for that as well. So I think I've covered everything. Oh, four pass connect is also standard equipment on this along with your sync. So sync is standard. So you have 911 assist, Bluetooth uh, controls, voice commands to be able to control some things like your radio and that kind of thing, make and receive phone calls. Um, and then you also have the four pass connect, which allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using that four pass app. So you can download the app, connect your vehicle. You can remote start your vehicle. If you have automatic, you should be able to remote start the vehicle using the app. Automa the manuals will not. You can unlock, lock your vehicle, uh, that kind of thing with those uh, features there. Even locate your vehicle with the Ford Pass app. So I think I've covered all the standard equipment. Uh, you will have illuminated entry when you get in. These lights will come on automatically. Uh, that's what the illuminated entry means. Uh, and I think I've covered everything else. So let's go on to the 101A equipment group, which you might consider getting some, some convenience features. And let's talk about some of those upgrades. Now we're going to talk about an upgraded equipment group, or what they call it. And this is called the High Package. It's a 101A equipment group. So if you're looking under the packages section, if you're on the Ford build and price, that's where you're going to see this, uh, this package uh, or equipment group is what I like to call it. Uh, this includes a lot of features. A couple exterior features. One is an upgraded wheel. So you'll get the 19 inch uh, machine face alloy wheel with the uh, black ebony painted pocket. So showing you a clip from, of that wheel off of Ford's website when you go to that package. Uh, so real nice wheel there. You also go, of course, an all-season tire that's going to go along with that, uh, that, that, that upgraded wheel there. Also reverse sensing system. So now as you're backing up, you're going to get alert if you get too close to anything. So not only can you see behind you, but you're going to get the sensing system as well. Remote start. So the remote start will work on the automatic transmissions. 
manuals will not work and will not have that of course uh, but on your automatic transmissions you'll get the remote start as part of this equipment group so it will be on the remote so you don't have to get the app out and try to connect to the app you'll be able to do it from the remote if you're in close enough proximity uh, there is an extra extra uh, extra space down here the the panic moves down and that remote start button will be on the remote right there right underneath your rear hatch uh, button there so uh, on the inside upgrade this is where you're going to get your power seat so if you go to 101a equipment group you're going to get your uh, six-way power driver seat with power lumbar and you're going to get a four-way power passenger seat so both the driver and front passenger will get power seat uh, that includes that seat cushion uh, but does not include the seat back that is still going to be a manual adjustment uh, with that lever down there on the side uh, now, I'm talking about your climate control. You get upgraded on this one. Not only do you have electronic manual climate control, now you're going to go to dual zone automatic temperature control. So, the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures there. On the inside, for the audio controls, you will get upgraded to a nine speaker audio sound system from the six. So, I think all those speakers are on the dash, if I remember right. So, you're going to get upgraded with three more speakers, and you're going to also get Sirius XM satellite radio as part of this equipment group. Also, you're going to get the SYNC 3 system, though. so that's that new, uh, the, not the newest, but the upgraded SYNC 3 system with the 8-inch touchscreen, so that's where you get the bigger screen, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, a more enhanced voice recognition system as well. Uh, all that's going to be included uh, with, the new, with that SYNC 3 with the bigger 8-inch touchscreen. And you're going to get the selectable drive modes with the toggle switch. So you have a switch there on the dash, so you can just uh, flip that switch and it's going to go ahead and give you that. So you're going to get an extra set of switches there uh, for that. This will be down below. Uh, so that way you can toggle through those different drive modes and it, it'll the, the drive modes will kind of just depends on what drive mode you have it in if you have it in the eco mode or if you have it in the sport mode uh, it's going to change the shifting of the transmission it's going to uh, uh, take care of any traction control settings as well uh, for you and adjust those uh, so that you give a more spirited ride or a little bit better shifting for better fuel economy depends on what mode you're in uh, you can use those toggle switches to do that now, the first one I want to talk about is something that's pretty new for this year. In fact, I did a video on this package uh, and put it on YouTube and has gotten uh, some pretty good views on it. Uh, now, with the EcoBoost, you can get a 2.3 liter high performance package. Uh, and for this year, it includes the upgraded 2.3 liter high performance EcoBoost engine. So, it requires you to get that engine first. So, if you try to put this package on there, it may flag up on the build price that you need to upgrade the engine. You're going to get the upgraded, uh, the high performance. Uh, EcoBoost engine that gives you another 20 horsepower. So you're going to get 330 horsepower, 350 pound feet of torque with that upgraded engine. Now, available in automatic or manual, doesn't matter. Uh, we'll also get the strut tire brace. So you've seen the clip there uh, black painted strut tire brace with that 2.3 liter um, high performance badging on that strut tire brace. You're going to also, this is going to be just like your GT Performance Package. In a sense, you're going to get some unique tuning. So you're going to get your unique chassis tuning, upsized rear sway bar. In fact, you're going to get the 355 uh, limited slip rear axle, uh, whether it be automatic or manual. Uh, unique tuning for also your E-Pass, your ABS, uh, all those different things there. Your stability control are going to be uniquely tuned. Uh, you're going to also see the GT Performance Package front splitter and the belly pan as well up here on the front of the vehicle. And you're going to get a larger radiator for this vehicle too. So all those upgrades. And you all know, also notice this vehicle here has the paddle shifters and it's the 100A. The only other way you can get the paddle shifters on a 100A package is by getting this package that is going to be included give on those automatic transmissions giving you those paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. So moving around to the side, I want to talk about the rest of the features and part of this package. And of course, you are going to get also upgraded springs. So you're going to have heavy duty front springs on here, again, for performance. All these things are going to go in together to get, make this a great performing vehicle. To slow down before those curves, you're going to need a larger brake. So you get a larger brake rotors with the fixed four piston calipers. Uh, so that's going to allow you to brake going into those curves. You're going to get the, uh, the wheel that's going to be part of this package. So your clip of it is going to be a 19 inch machine faced alloy wheel with the low gloss ebony painted pockets so uh, so real different wheel again we upgraded to this wheel uh, show you why we did that in just a little bit uh, so a real nice combination you will get a, a summer only performance tire to go along with that 
uh, for being able to, to run this. But also, you know, what's great is you can use those tires and use those on the streets as well, not just on the track. So it's a good combination there. Also, let's talk about some of the accents you're gonna see on the outside of the vehicle. Now, it's a little harder on this one because this is carbonized gray. So I'm gonna give you some clips off of a white vehicle. It's actually, if you've watched the EcoBoost premium package video, uh, that's the vehicle we're using in that video. So uh, it's a white with this package on there. So you're gonna see some hood accents on there. So hood accent stripe on both sides is gonna be carbonized gray hood accent. You're gonna also get carbonized gray mirror caps regardless of the exterior color and your rear deck lid spoiler to raise spoiler will be carbonized gray as well, regardless of what color it is. So you can see in that white vehicle, the impact it'll make having the carbonized gray accents for the mirror, the spoiler, as well as the stripe. Now on this particular vehicle, we did delete the hood stripe, which is an optional equipment that you can do, no, tra no charge option. And we did that because since we have the carbonized gray exterior color and the mirror caps and the spoiler are gonna be the same carbonized gray, this is kind of a sleeper car. Other than this, uh, the badging over here on the side on the fender, uh, you really can't tell that this has a high performance package on there unless you're on the inside or you pop that hood. So that way you can get out there, especially with this, up, this wheel, people would say, oh, that's the optional wheel. They wouldn't know whether or not you have this performance package on here just at first glance. So uh, some great uh, additions there. Check out the exhaust. We saw that earlier as I kind of pointed out that that wasn't the stock exhaust because it's part of this package. It is the uh, quad tip active valve, active valve ex performance exhaust there. So great performance exhaust uh, for it. A couple things here on the inside I want to show you and that is the gauges up there. So you do have that gauge. You have that oil pressure and boost gauge uh, right there in between uh, your vents there on the dash. Also you'll notice the uh, dedicated instrument panel for this package and that is that engine spun is the, the, the wording they're using for that design. So engine spun, instrument panel, and you're going to also get that 2.3 high performance badging there as well. So you're going to get about four of those badges around the vehicle uh, to show you that you have something special in the, in this, on this vehicle. And it is a great performing package. I did a video on this high performance package. Uh, you can check out that video, but pretty much everything I covered right now uh, was in that video. But this is a great way to take an EcoBoost on a short track with lots of uh, curves and you can almost you know, out, outrun about any other GT because you can get back up to speed a little faster uh, with this EcoBoost than you might be able to on a GT. So unless you're going to a lot of straights, uh, if you got a lot of short straights and some curves, this EcoBoost uh, package will do really well, especially if you add in the package we're gonna talk about next. Let's talk about the EcoBoost handling package. Now this is a great package if you've already decided you want that high performance package, this is a great package to add to it. Does require to have the high performance package uh, to get this package. Uh, and uh, it's a great addition, a great handling package for you. It is gonna have its own dedicated wheel as you're seeing here uh, that'll come with it. So it's gonna be a 19 by nine and a half inch uh, magnetic painted alloy wheel. So beautiful wheel that's gonna go along with this. And if you got the high performance package, getting the, the magnetic uh, mirror caps and uh, the, uh, the spoiler as well as the accent on the hood, uh, these wheels are gonna go match perfectly with that and just look real sharp on the vehicle. Also you're gonna get the Pirelli Corsa 4 summer only tires. So beautiful tire that's gonna go along with that wheel uh, combination there. You're gonna be upgraded as you can see with the Brembo brakes. So premium brakes added to this. So uh, Brembo on the front as well as uh, on the black painted on the rear back there. So great upgraded premium brakes on this. You're gonna also be upgraded to the 355 uh, torsion limited slip rear axle. So that's a, a lot of people like that, that torsion rear axle axle so it'll give you great performance there and you're gonna get the Magneride dampening suspension the Magneride this is great uh, you don't really see it we did see it with the GT performance package several years ago when it was first introduced and it was such a big deal then uh, it's gonna really uh, help with the suspension for any imperfections in the road or track for you to keep that uh, handling going just perfectly for you uh, and so that's a, a great addition so this is this handling package is a great uh, option uh, this particular vehicle we you know we added the um, you know just we added that high performance package in that package that was it and it's just going to be a great performing vehicle for you now we're going to talk about the wheel and stripe package now this package uh, has its own dedicated wheel and stripes of course just like it sounds so this package wouldn't be available with certain other packages like your high performance package which gets its own wheel as well as uh, change the wheel, as well as it's not available with over the, type, over the top stripe, which we'll talk about later, as well as some other optional wheels that's not available. So you're, you're dedicated on this wheel and stripe package to the wheel that comes as part of this package. So it will come with a 19 inch by eight and a half inch 
a machine faced alloy wheel with a dark tarnished painted pockets. I think it's like a 10 spoke wheel, a pretty nice wheel design there. Of course, it'll come with the tires that would typically come with your 19 inch wheels. Uh, also, along with this is you're gonna have a hood stripe as well as a side stripe on this. So I am giving you uh, some clips from Ford's website because a lot of times we won't order this package uh, on our vehicles, uh, but it's a cool wheel and stripe package. is available on any of your equipment groups, um, but can, uh, not available with certain ones that are, have dedicated wheels or stripes that go along with it. So uh, you can tell they're a pretty cool little package. So wheel and stripe package is available for you if you want to order it on your uh, vehicle. Uh, might be something to think about. Now let's talk about another package that's available. Now this is available on your high package uh, so that we talked about earlier that upgraded package uh, uh, for your vehicle and also it's uh, something that's uh, pretty new uh, for the some of the vehicles some of the different depends on what trim level you're looking at uh, but that's the Ford safe and smart package so this package we did actually see introduced in the Mustang and uh, some of the other vehicles like the GT in the previous years uh, and uh, this this package includes your adaptive cruise control and it's going to also include your navigation so talk about that adaptive cruise control and what that's going to do is if you have that set up uh, then if you come behind somebody and they're going slower than you it's going to slow you down to go their speed and then until you pass them or they speed back up and then it will resume back up so a uh, great package so you don't have to use your brakes so much and you have to worry about that um, also it even comes to complete stop and stop and go type of traffic as well so adaptive cruise is a cool feature to have but also it's combined in this package with the navigation so you'll have the voice activated navigation system with the Sirius XM traffic and travel link to go along with that so you'll have the on-screen navigation uh, you'll see why and that's why you have to go up to the high package to get it so you have that 8 inch touch screen so uh, Ford safe and smart package again available on your high package I want to talk about a package that is actually standard on all your convertibles, uh, but is optional on your fastback models and uh, pretty much available on about any of your, uh, your trim and any of your equipment groups. Uh, the EcoBoost uh, trim, though, is, uh, it does require to have the 101A equipment group. So let's talk about this package. Uh, it is available. It's going to come uh, with a, uh, some great safety features. Uh, the reason this is standard on the convertibles is because of that top and everything, people being able to get into, especially if you have the convertible top down. Uh, then you don't want people getting into some belongings. So you can tuck some things away in some of the different areas that can be locked up. So the console will come with a lock. So you get a lock in there for the console so they can't get in the console. It's also going to lock your steering column. So electronic locking, steering column, you have that steering column lock, as well as a locking uh, wheel kit. So also you want to protect your wheels. It's a great package to add to it as well. And you're going to get the active and a theft system as well so that way if people try to intrude into the area it's going to be it's going to sound off that alarm uh, let people know that there's somebody messing with your vehicle so especially if the vehicle is locked so uh, great great little package to have again it's a it's going to be standard in all your convertibles Let's talk about another uh, appearance package you might consider getting, and um, that's a black accent package. Now, this package is not available with any other different appearance package that you might get, or any other the performance packages uh, would be available with that, uh, just because it's a, because of the own dedicated wheel and accents you get on this vehicle that would not work with those different packages. Uh, so it's going to get its own dedicated wheel, so it's going to be a, a 19 uh, by eight and a half inch. Uh, black painted alloy wheels, so pretty cool looking wheel that's going to go as part of this package and you're going to see also the black badgings around it. So uh, whether it be your ponies uh, all around the vehicle front and back or, or be any badgings on the vehicle with normally chrome, they're going to be black painted now with this package. Also your mirror caps for this year will be black painted as well, so black mirror caps on this. Your hood or the roof I should say of the vehicle is going to be painted black, so a black roof up there and you're going to get a black deck lid spoiler so uh, so pretty cool little additions here so black accent package is a, a great package if you want to dress up another color vehicle and add this package to it uh, the, you might consider this package let's move to optional equipment first i want to talk about uh, break down on some of the different optional wheel uh, possibilities you have so there are three different optional wheels depending on uh, what you're looking for there is one that's available on the both the 100 and 101a equipment group and that is an 18 by eight and a half inch uh, wheel it is a machine faced alloy wheel with the painted pockets uh, so black painted pockets a five spoke wheel pretty nice wheels you're seeing there now if you do have an, a, a any kind of appearance type of package that includes a wheel uh, it won't be uh, be available with that of course so it won't be available with a black accent package or your wheel and stripe package or your high performance package not available in any of those packages uh, high performance package does need a wider uh, wheel and that's why you won't be able to get it with those packages 
Also, we can talk about another uh, wheel that's available for you, and that is gonna be this wheel here that's available on your 2.3 liter high performance package. So it does require to have that package, again, not available with your wheel and stripe package or your black accent package for that reason. And it's the 19 by nine inch uh, luster nickel painted forged alloy wheel. So great looking wheels you can see here, uh, but it's a 19 by nine inch. That's the only other optional wheel that has the right size width uh, to be able to put with this package. That's why it's requiring you to have that 2.3 high output EcoBoost package. Also, you do have the uh, another optional wheel on the 101 equipment group is a 19 by eight and a half inch wheel. Uh, and so that's a, a nice upgraded wheel you can get. Uh, so as you can see there in that image, so the upgraded wheel, can't not get that wheel with a, uh, that's a chrome wheel, by the way, a polished uh, wheel, and you cannot get that with your accent packages. So your black accent package or your wheel and stripe package, uh, and that pack, that wheel is not available on your high performance package either. So, uh, but it's available on the 101A equipment group. Some, some, a couple different wheel options for you if you want to go a little bit different than what comes with those different packages. Also, you can get an up, you can upgrade as optional equipment on the 100 or 101A equipment group. You can get a mini spare in tire. So, I know a lot of people probably at the beginning of that video, what I don't have a spare tire. Here's where you'd get that as an optional equipment for you, but it's not available on your high performance package or your handling package. They want to keep that weight down as much as possible. That's why they would not include a tire with those packages. So something you can add to the vehicle if you're wanting that uh, mini spare tire and wheel. So there you go. That's how you do it. Standalone option for you on your 100 or 101A equipment group. Let's talk about some different options for stripes and spoiler uh, that you might consider. And uh, one of the standalone options for a 100 or 101 equipment group is the over the top stripe. So it is available uh, on about everything except for there are some exceptions. If you have a package that already gets a hood stripe, it will not be available with that. So it will not be available with your high performance package, will not be available with your wheel and stripe package or your black accent package, which has the black roof, but it is available in, in the, any of the others. So if you don't get those packages, you can add the over the top stripe to your vehicle as a standalone option. It's a nice little added bonus there. Also on the black accent package, uh, you can also, that package comes with a rear spoiler as part of that package. You can delete the rear spoiler. So uh, it does require to have the 101A equipment group to delete the rear spoiler. So on the 100A, you will have to stay with that spoiler. But on a 101A, you can delete the spoiler off of there. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind. Also the stripe delete on the high performance package. So on that package, kind of mentioned it earlier already, but it is a standalone option. I want to put it in here available on the 100 or 101A. Stripe, stripe delete will take the, the uh, stripes off of the hood, but it's also going to take the mirrors back to body color. In this case, it was okay because basically kept it that same color, carbonized gray. But if you maybe get the stripe delete on a white vehicle, it'll take the stripes off the top, but also make, take the mirror caps back to body body color in that case would be white. It would still leave the spoiler as carbonized gray though. So uh, that's something that you can add as optional equipment. Standalone option like we added on this one here was to do that. Uh, didn't really cost anything uh, if you want to remove those stripes, but something to consider. It does change that mirror cap. So I'll really consider that if you decide you want to delete it. Let's talk about three other standalone options you might consider. Uh, one of them is an engine block heater. So if you live in a cold weather state, leave your vehicle Mustang outside in the winter time and want it to start up pretty easily on those really cold days, engine block heater is something you want to make sure you add available on the 100 or 101A equipment group. You can also get floor liners. They're going to be like an all weather mat for you. They're going to be the footwells and the front ones as well as the rear. So it'll be front and rear uh, that you'll get on this. And that's something that can be added again on the 100 or 101A equipment group. The active valve exhaust. So if you did see it as part of the high performance pack and say, oh, that'd be really cool to have. If you have a one on one A equipment group, you can order the active valve performance exhaust. It will give you the quad tips that will be included in that uh, and allow you to adjust that valve for different situations. If you're in the neighborhood, maybe you want a little bit quieter, then you could do that. So active valve exhaust is available for you as a standalone option on the EcoBoost trim. So there you go, that's all of our standard as well as optional equipment. Uh, I think I've covered everything in this video. So again, very thorough video and uh, there's timestamps and prices are down in the description. So look through those down there. I will also be doing a video on the EcoBoost Premium Package GT. And when we get a GT Premium, uh, I'll be doing one on those, uh, that one as well, as well as we're gonna be doing a video on the Mach 1. So be looking for those videos. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can get subscribed to our channel. Hit the notification bell. 
That way you get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. You can always check out our inventory on our website at lawmacarthur.com. Also, don't forget, if you have any questions, you can call us or send text messages to the numbers on the screen. So all that information should be on the screen right now so you can see that. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can do that because we will do free shipping for you. So if you live outside of uh, our state and like to order from a dealership that knows their product and make sure you order a vehicle the way you want it to, you can have it delivered right to your door for free. We just ask you ship, uh, that you finance the vehicle with us and lenders will give us enough kickback that we can deliver it to you for free. So it's not a cost that's occurred onto you if you plan on financing it anyway. Uh, and then we can have it shipped right to your door so you don't even have to take step into a dealership. So you still get the great uh, internet price that we have online or if you want to especially order your vehicle, you're going to get the same type of pricing we use on our website. Uh, so just you can take advantage of that. Of course, you can call, send text messages if you want more information about that. And again, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you did like it, smash the like button. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. Share the video out. And you can also find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So if you want to see and learn more about us, check us out on those different social media sites. Until the next video, we'll see you later.